I've been working day and night to kill every player on the server, slowly working towards a goal some think is impossible. But what if I were to tell you that I was doing all of this to save everyone? Yes! yes! Sign the book! There's no way! See, it all started when I was given a choice. The blue pill. Stay in my team and watch as everyone around me is killed relentlessly. In other words, to do nothing. Or the red pill. To abandon my team. Leave everything behind. To reset everyone. But how do you reset someone anyway? Like, what does that even mean? Well, on this server, killing people gives you permanent attack damage, and dying loses one. Resetting someone would basically just be killing them until they do the normal amount of damage. But the question is, would I really be willing to leave my team behind, just to be hated by the entire server? Yes. Our first mission was to kill this player. We would be working with another team to do this, giving us our first strength. But after we tracked down the player, I was beginning to have doubts. Dude, I don't know about this, bro. Instead, I was thinking of saving this player, because then he'd owe us a favor. And after informing my team of my idea, I just had to hope that they'd listen for my signal. Mm. This is a robbery. You're right. Alright. It is a robbery, Pierce. It is. But not of Noof. It's of you! Oh my, oh my god! Oh my god! Let him get the kill! Let him get the kill! I am sorry, dying! Sorry, sorry. Let him build up! Let him build up! I'm helping you! I'm helping you! I need help! I need help! Get him! Oh. Get him! Let him! Let him get it! Get him! Get him! Get him! He's down! He's down! He's down! He's oh. down! Don't let him get out! Uh, he he broke! He broke! He broke! Let him get it! No! 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 It's all you, bro! It's all you! Yes! <laughs> and thus, we had gotten our first two kills. But there was still one more issue. We didn't fully do it for free. We want something from you. A favor. Yeah. What's up? You owe us a favor. Anything we want, anytime. Oh. After a little bit of convincing, we were able to get an IOU from him. This basically meant he had to do whatever I want, except it's limited to only one use. Knowing this had a lot of power, I decided to save it for later. But since our team was recruiting more and more people, I decided to schedule a meeting to know exactly who to kill. The thing is, these are the people that we have to kill. We're gonna take everything from them. We're gonna be taking their strength from them and burning them right in front of their eyes. Rev, we're gonna start a war here. I think we should drop Skypop though, ironically. While discussing who to kill, two names had stuck out. But while my team was logging off after the meeting, they found me first. They were interrogating me to see if I had stolen the items that had brought their team together. Now look, I already knew their item was missing. Because it was me. But the point is, I was cornered with nowhere else to go. And as I stared at them, I knew what I had to do. Yeah, you're right, it was me, it was me. I had just started attacking them. And despite the fact that I wasn't prepared for a fight, I knew that if I could kill just one of them, then just maybe I could take on the other. And pretty quickly, I was not ready for a fight. What? Not ready what? for a fight, huh? And after killing one of them, I got exactly what I needed. Bye, Skypop. I want to do this, chill agent. Bye, Skypop. Let's go. <laughs> However, one thing that the fight had taught me was how far away our goal was. Because around this time, I'd been informed that players had used a now patch glitch to dupe strength into the economy. And as our enemies begun to realize what we were doing, they even brought new players on the server just for more strength. Lord Fighters Online? got killed six times. Seven, oh. seven times. What? Eight times. Sword fighters got banned off 10 times. After all this had happened, we needed to work faster. So we began to study every possible time we could get more kills. No matter how many people we went after, it just seemed hopeless. With our only way to combat it being to kill more and more people. Yes. Meanwhile, a team trying to stop us had found me at my weakest, eventually ending with my death. No! Oh my god. After dying, one of the people that had killed me had added me to a group chat. Although I was a little confused, I joined the VC anyway, and I was told something that I hadn't expected. Uh, go to spawn really quick. I won't, I, like, I won't, I'm gonna give you your stuff back. After I joined the call, he claimed he would give me my stuff back. Issue is, if I were to go to him, he could just kill me for another strength, losing us even more progress. But then he said something that made me have some trust in him. I'm assuming he would take my strength, which I understand for, you know, obviously what we're doing. Oh yeah, I don't- I don't have it, I don't have it. Instead of just saying he wouldn't give my strength back, he claimed he didn't have it. This meant that he was likely going behind his team's back, just for him to give me my stuff back. And although this was risky, What you're doing is completely useless, and, you know, obviously you're gonna fail, but even if you do succeed, you'll see that the server's gonna be in a worse state than it was in before. Our whole team would be willing to end this. Well, obviously, it doesn't seem like you are. Hearing this was a bit of a shock, to say the least. All he wanted was peace, and yet as I looked at him, I knew it was too good to be true. So, I declined, and traveled far away to a base with the little gear that I had. And as I sat there, breaking pumpkins to try to work my way back up, I felt defeated.
But just then, I remembered something. Around a week ago, my friend had called me and said he had something to show me. Something that he thought would help me in the future. Most servers have like contracts and stuff, right? You come in here, you go like, one, uh, term. Subscribe to the name's SX. Yeah, yeah, you should do that, by the way. You should do that. But what if I were to tell you, you could add another term in invisible white Wait. text. Wait, what? That people would have Wait. to follow. Wait, is there, is there text there? Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm typing, aren't I? Oh my god. Paste in my little symbol, do a different letter. I could do, say, pink. What the hell? Is it just any color? Uh, there's certain limits, but... What the hell? Wait, so you can just add invisible text? Okay, uh, here is the book. Like, if you want to verify that. Right. Oh my god. Dude. No mods or anything, no client side mods oh or anything. Oh my god, dude. With this, I could easily trick anyone into giving me anything. And right then, I needed it more than ever. Chances are, the person who had just killed me and then offered peace would be none the wiser to read between the lines. So, after informing my team about the plan, we scheduled a meeting, and it was officially go time. Here's a contract thing. Book and crawl. Just make a contract, I'll say whether I agree or what should be changed. Okay. The only problem is we need Ty to agree with it, because it's kind of like two teams and against you guys. I don't know about that. We've only screwed over Ty, not Ty's team, so I don't really care about his signature. Okay, clear that up. I couldn't think of anything. I couldn't make it sound smart, I'm gonna be honest. I don't have to put my name, but I just signed the book, right? Okay. Once I send the book, yep. Also, if you copy and paste in what you want, uh, you can actually make it even smaller to fit in between the lines of the terms. And then you would let me re read over it. Yep. And I give people the yeah. Stupid thing. I just named it the end. Climbing close. Actually. Okay. Bro. Alright, SX. It's done. There's no way. It's done. There's no way. It's done. No. Way. I'm heading back to base. He don't know that he don't know that it's it's fake though. After tricking one of our enemies to join us, we needed to use this trick as much as possible. So I began to go after players who hadn't heard about the white text. Alright, okay. This is good. There's my life. Alright, okay. Oh, we cannot kill Fabio, you cannot kill us. Okay, you're good. Yep. Let's go! But as I was putting away the contracts, I had realized something. I didn't even have my enemy's contract, and since I was the one that signed it, he had it for himself. Meaning that it might not even exist anymore. If this was true, this meant that he could just be acting like he was with us when he was really undercover. Not knowing if he burned it, I decided to play along until he was helping us kill one of his old teammates. And to be honest, things seemed normal. Vivern, Vivern, Vivern. Throughout the fight, we were all working together, but deep down, I knew something just wasn't right. There's no way. Eventually, the player we were trying to kill had escaped, and now that we were no longer busy, I decided to take it into my own hands and question Gelation. This is completely unrelated to what we're talking about. Do you have do you have the contract? No, I'm gonna be honest, I do not. Ty has it. Are you still with us? I literally. I know you've done a lot. I'm kind of with playing... us. Say yes or no. Yes. Are you betraying us for Ty? I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't. I don't think I am. At least right now, I've been with your guys' side ever since the switch. I have not done anything to betray you guys. Is the contract still valid? I don't know. I I, I don't know. Does it even exist? I, I, I have no knowledge of that, no. After hearing the contract might not even exist anymore, I lost all trust in Gelation and decided to make a new one. Alright, we'll make a new contract. I don't even trust the old one. Make it say that like I can't, like you can't make me sign multiple IOUs. It's added. It's added. Sign it. Oh. Come on. Come on, Gelation. Right. No, I knew he'd bro. Oh, he's running? Yeah, he's running. Go after Jeff. Go after him. My cords are 150, negative 230. We're going east. He's out of pearls. He's fully out. Get him, get him, get him. Break the portal. You know how? On the obsidian. There's another one? Play safe. You're good, you're good, you're good. We're not dying here. I got no fun. I got me on me. They're all I got three on me. No. I got three on me. Noof, gel, and vortex. Oh boy, this is gonna be close. I gave you a chance, bro. You brought this one yourself. They didn't need to log on. Oh no. He doesn't get out. Holy! I think we all know that's that here. Can we talk for a little bit? No. 
Who do you think you are? You had a chance to talk to me. We can think. We can talk. Just for a second. Me and my team had thought we had control over Jalation, it was he who had control over us. Somehow, I'd barely escaped with my life, but I was left there pondering what to do. I mean, he'd probably leaked lots of valuable info about my team, and there was no way of telling just how bad the situation was. And in my desperation, I'd made the decision to hold a meeting with my team, to figure out the best way to achieve our goal of resetting everyone. So I've called this meeting because I kind of want to talk about a few points that we need to go over. Number one, we're not really going as fast of a pace as I'd like us to go. We're not exactly getting as much strength as we're losing. We need to find a way that's more efficient. But then again, I have IOUs, so like I've been able, so I can like get them to give me some strength. That's a really good point, yeah. And a good point it was. Remember that contract I got earlier? I could use that to get 11 strength off of that player by death banning him off, and if his team revives him, they lose another four strength. 15 strength gone. Plus we'd also plan to get more strength by fighting more and more people. I have a proposition. Yeah. What? Okay, uh, okay, shoot. No, no, bro. Basically, I say that in about a week's time, we declare a final fight on the other team. While a final fight sounded like a good idea, there wasn't much of a reason to do so. The only way it could help us is if we could win the fight and somehow kill the players over and over until they're banned off. But since most players had their spawn point at spawn, they could just run away after dying. Or at least that's what we thought. Until me and my teammate Leo learned something game breaking. There's no way, up, right? Up. It's a set world spawn. Shots. It's a one block spawn. Apparently, this server is a plugin that makes you spawn on one block only. Meaning that, unless you have a bed somewhere, you spawn right here on this block. After some further testing, we discovered that if people couldn't spawn on the block, they'd spawn mid-air. So, with this info, we decided to do something a little bit... evil. If people were really able to just spawn mid-air, then we should theoretically be able to void trap anyone we kill. The second they hit the respawn button, Yippee. they fall into the void. <gasps> That's crazy. Although this would be useful later, we needed to get more progress. While we got more and more strength, we did have some losses, but with each loss, we always had a net gain. And then I died again, but it didn't matter. Whether the server liked it or not, we were slowly winning. And even better, we had noticed a player who was reconsidering sides. If we could get him on our team, this would greatly help us in the future. But things didn't quite go as planned. Okay, I have my book and quill, and basically I have to write that I'm with you guys now, or? You will not betray us, and we will not betray you. Add whatever you want, as long as we can keep it, we're good. Uh, fix this? Everything was going completely fine, but Ty said something that didn't sit right with me. You know how Salem's becoming the pretty evil hitman and killing people for money? You know someone who's on that list? That's right, it was me. But the thing is, this shouldn't be an issue. I've already had a target on my back the second I joined the Equalizers. But I guess they started to care a lot more about me dying. Because just then- Salem's here. Sound on God. Oh god. Oh my god, they're here! Guys, they're here! Okay, well, I'm dipping. I don't have gaps, bro. I'm sorry. I'm dipping. You can, you can survive that, right? I don't know. How did they find us? Somehow, Ty's old team had found us. And while I'd gotten away pretty quickly, I was more worried about Ty. Wait, Ty, are you out? You good? I don't know. How did they find us? I'm turning off my hat later. Oh my f***ing god. After that encounter, we'd met up at our base to get Ty into our team. Although he was a little paranoid, he had eventually signed the contract to get into our team. This should have felt like a major success, but I couldn't stop thinking about everything that has happened. I mean, we were just trying to help everyone be equal, and yet everybody was fighting back and calling us monsters. Red, why? Why do I have to off my my strength back. These two are fun. I continued to tell myself the same sentence. It's all for their own good, but deep down, it felt like a lie. All wars do come to an end. I don't think you're going to be in the winning side. You brought this upon yourself. Do you know how oh dumb this is, bro? I'm dead, bro! I'm so oh. dead! This is so dumb! I didn't care. I put everything aside and kept pushing forward. It was all going to be worth it in the end. Or at least, I was hoping so. I found him. He's here. Oh. Okay, we're at Quartz. I sent him in the that, that thing. I see him! Are we gonna talk to him through voice chat? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. This is Cave, an unsuspecting player about to lose everything. I found his project that he was working on a few weeks back, and now is the time to strike. Since he's so weak, he was an easy target for more strength. But there was one small issue. Uh, yeah, we sort of have Ty on our team. Yeah, the player we had just added to our team had one condition when joining. We weren't allowed to kill or trap Cave. So in my eyes, as long as we didn't kill him, we were good. But to get the strength we needed, we were gonna make him sign a contract. Okay, uh, come here. Oh, this is cool. Oh yeah, there's like, like a there's like a farm section. Oh, I remember this. Uh, Cave, can you do me a favor? Would you sign a permanent IOU right now? We need we need it for something in the future. Okay. But what do I what do I get? It's not what you get. It's what is prevented. Because if you don't, then you're gonna get banned off the server right now. Okay. Are you willing to sign this or? Well, are you gonna get banned off? Well, like what basic task? Just whatever is necessary. How many okay, strengths well, do you want? I'm just not gonna spawn again. Cave, respawn. Cave, I don't know if you can hear me, but trust me, respawn. We had broken the contract. Ty's only rule about joining our team was that we would stay away from Cave. And not only did we not follow this, but we killed him twice. And only then had it struck me. Unless we get a re Yeah, Ty just logged on. Yeah, he told Ty. This was wrong. I don't think that was just worth it at all. We were wrong. I guess we have to wait for Ty to get here. Okay, what the f***, bro? Alright. Uh, ultra leave the VC. Uh, you can look at the signs here. We did we did the signs here well before you logged on. Oh. Oh, that was nice. We still killed him. That is true, but she gave everything back. Okay, we can respawn. We want, We saw his spawn point and we thought we could... Oh, yeah, man. I was telling SX not to. Dave's one of the weaker yeah. people. He's at like the negatives now. Ty had forgiven us. Even after we killed his friend and threatened to take everything, he held none of it against us. But something was different. Everything was different. Everything we'd ever done, everything we wanted to do, it was all wrong. We were the villains of the server, we were never saving it. I began to look back at my team. What was once a group of friends trying to save everyone, became an ugly and distorted remnant of what it once was. And so, I had made my decision. To betray the Equalizers. There you go. Oh no! <laughs> when I give the signal, kill the Equalizers. Oh shit! <laughs> this has been going on for... Too long. Dude, that's awesome! That's perfect! And in this fight, I want you to kill them. This is so sad. <laughs> I don't really think it's fully worth it anymore. I left like a good while ago. Two, two one. one. All right, it's done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there was no going back. We needed to save the server. Because if we didn't, then they would continue their rampage until everyone has suffered. But this betrayal comes with a minor issue. For one, we're having a final fight in just three days to get everyone's strength. Until then, we need to have everyone convinced that we are still part of the Equalizers, while also convincing the enemy team to help us betray them. Yeah, it's confusing, which is why I plan to meet up with the enemy team's leader, so he would warn everyone just before the fight. But before I could schedule a meeting, something had went wrong. The very player I needed to meet up with was my team's next target. It's not like I could just, like, not help them kill him. So I did. He's going back up to the surface. His helmet broke. His helmet broke. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He's trying to go down. He's trying to go down. GG's. He's gone. Yes! No doubt, this kill would come back to bite me. But as we got closer and closer to the final fight, my options were running short. If I wasn't able to warn the others that I would be helping them, then they probably wouldn't even believe me in the fight. Because of this, I had to meet up with the enemy team's leader. But like, we literally just killed him. There's no way he'd accept an offer to meet up with us. Yo, can you meet with me real quick? Okay, sure. Ah, I think this might be the one contract you'll be fine with signing. If you want to know the truth about the equalizers, all you have to do is sign the contract. Is that a good truth? For you, yeah. Very, very good, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, sure, I'm fine. I'll make it. Alright. Based on that contract, everything I say has to be the truth. Alright, and with that being said, number one, every Equalizer has signed a contract saying they cannot betray their team or leave it until this war is over. And number two, I can also say that I'm not an Equalizer. Huh? There are two players that hold the contracts, Rev and Leo. Rev has Leo's contract and Leo has everyone else's. After I got Leo's contract and he got my contract, we threw it in the lava at the same time. And on the day of the fight, you think it'll just be a normal fight. Uh -huh. Which it will be. Except for one small difference. The Equalizers will not win. In that fight, we will turn on them. So what you want me to do is get people to be like, motivated to fight. Basically, we kill the Equalizers, and they're gone for good.
Okay. I'm sure you both know why we're here. Fight oh, tomorrow. What? Fight tomorrow. We're kind of about to betray the biggest team on the server. Potato, you're here because obviously I have you on an IOU. You have to do whatever I say. And Leo, it took. It definitely took a bit of convincing to get you here too. So according to the video that we ended up publishing, we have to wear red chest plates to show that we're part of their team. Midway through the fight, I'm thinking, take off the chest plates, put on a different one, and then Salem's probably going to tell everyone, like, start going for the actual, like, red chest plates. So they'll know yeah. exactly who to kill. That's the basic idea. And then if we're invis, they won't know who's who among us. Yeah. Now, there were a lot of things that could go wrong here. Just one slip up and people don't believe I'm betraying my team or another and I get killed too early. So I went to sleep on it, knowing that tomorrow would decide the fate of everything. And whichever team wins will get all of the strength. Um, something that nobody really knew is that we've been two steps ahead the entire time. More specifically, I've been two steps ahead the entire time. Before the fight starts, I just want to say, SX, you kind of look like a Grinch, bro. What? 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 I just... What? Why? Why did you make me join a team? There's no way! There's no way! Kill them! Kill them all! Kill the equalizers! Kill the equalizers! Oh my god! The bug! What are you doing, Zabog? No, Arch, kill them! Arch, kill them! Kill them! Whose team am I on? They're killing you! Do you not see that? Arch, you're not with them! Apparently, I am now! SX, just leave. Bro! The entire server had made it clear. For the first time in three months, everyone was in agreement. We were their enemies. As I sat there, hoping I could escape, I could hear Leo being hunted down and eventually killed. As much as I wanted to leave, I couldn't. I needed to make this right for the only people who had stood by my side. Bro, what the f happened? I don't know. Bro, <laughs> I have no clue what's happening. Y'all just left, like trying to look for you. Oh, well, they're right there. I think we're about to, about to have some friends. I give you permission to leave. This is my fight. I'm sorry. Okay, so are, are you sure you want to join us? Yeah, of course. There's a chance that everyone might hate us one day. From what I've seen, this server's needed a reset since day one. We can't keep doing this. We're not saving anyone. We're not even halfway done with our goal. Do you really want to do this? Yes. This needs to end. But it wasn't enough. After I respawned, I was met with the entire server laughing in my face. For the next couple minutes, I was mocked again and again. Surrounded by hatred. You were the one killing everyone. Surrounded by pride. <laughs> After everything I tried to do for them, they still hated me. No matter which side I had chosen, I was still their enemy. Sometimes you so desperately think you're doing the right thing. You can't let anyone else change what you believe because, well, your opinion is the one that matters. You want to prove to everyone that what you're saying is true, and your actions are just. Or maybe, you were never right to begin with. I just wanna be